Where's Bobby? So welcome back to the first episode of season four and now we're cleaning the collection tank in our aqua terra integrated farming wow. eco farming thing That's it's filled up with fish gunk yeah but, it's, it's like coffee yeah but don't panic it's organic <laughs> <laughs> That's as long as you don't have any wounds on your hands. Ah uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. But it's better to avoid problems. Yeah. So we will be sharing with you today different know-how on organic farming. And for now, I'm just going to first clean this up. Okay. See you guys a bit later. Yes. Ah, there's duck feet here floating. Yeah. I just mm. fed them duckweed. Duckweed, yes. You can see it floating. But that's good. Because they don't eat this all in one time. Because tilapia, they're like cows, they graze. Yeah. Hey, long time no see. You know, we are in our fourth season now. Now we will show you our sito. That is our string beans. Sito in Tagalog, string beans. You see our, they, they look good. Yep. Now we, we are planting this because this rainy season, oh, that's why we plant our string beans. Because number one pest of string beans are uh, black aphids. Mm -hmm. Black bean, uh, actually black bean aphids, and, uh, they are called, you know. So why do we put them here? Because once in a while it drains well, yeah. and the uh, black open. bean yeah. aphids, they just uh, go along with the rain down to the earth yeah so we can protect our plants in this way yeah if you want to know more about pests uh, you can always purchase our books yeah you can and there we, we show how and when uh, we also show how and when you have to plant your your, your crops, different yeah. crops yeah and mm -hmm. the way we planted this one because you can see here they have massive leaves so what we did was to make small pits where they're planted yes. Yes, and, uh, and we put it full of uh, of compost. Yeah, young compost. Mm. And so, uh, yeah, it, so it will bring back uh, the the earthworms and all yes. the beneficial insects, micro and macro. When yes. it, when they have uh, when you put uh, small uh, or young compost in your soil, there's still a lot of things to be decomposed, so it attracts more decomposers. So yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> there are also some yeah. more beans there. Be careful with the rain. Yeah, we yeah. have here still a lot. Yeah. And there are still a lot of upcoming yes. string I beans. I don't see any black bean aphids, no? Yeah, they're all washed away because it's yes, raining all almost every day. All right. So we had a manual pump installed here because of the pending energy crisis here in the Philippines. It's also good because you need a good supply of water at your farm. And if the zombie apocalypse would ever take place, <laughs> at least you have a good supply of water. Yeah. yeah. So what we do here is uh, we fill this blue tank up. So I think that would be enough. And I think there's someone who wants to help you. What to help me, Bobby? Come on, Bobby. Two of them. Yeah, come on. You can't reach it. <laughs> oh, help, help me, help me. Pump. Yeah, yeah, you have there. Come on. <laughs> and again, uh, FYI, if you have a, a manual pump installed, when you're using it, make sure to use the whole pumping stretch of it. Because mm -hmm. you will get more water and it will make your pump last for a long time. Yes, otherwise it gets <laughs> worn out in a small space there. Yeah. 
and the pipe that goes down becomes thinner and thinner. Yeah, if you follow me here. Yes, I will. You can see here there's a hose yes. leading outside the house, yes. which is connected to a small water pump mm -hmm. here. So we can redistribute the water from that tank going to this tank and to the tanks at the back. That is when there is electricity. Yeah, but this is such a small uh, electric motor, we can run it using a small generator. Hmm. Yeah, so we I, I, we need to fill up fill up this tank, so I rechanneled it by yes. closing this yes, close faucet, faucet, and faucet and opening it. There and open it. Yeah, and, and you switch it on. Yes, and there we see the water running in. Yeah. So the tilapias are shy. They're all at the bottom. Ah, yes. And again, uh, FYI, if you want to grow your tilapias bigger, make sure to uh, change uh, the water in your tanks. Because if it's so saturated with uh, ammonia, your fish will not grow big. Yes. So what we do is we change constantly a part of it yes. 10 to 20 percent of it yeah usually 20 percent yes. yeah all right oh okay it took out, oh. yep what oh. are those those are army worms army worms so yeah they yep. come in big numbers yeah yeah well you know that's normal yes but you pick them yeah pick them and, and we give, give it to the <laughs> we give it to the fish yeah Let's give them to the fish. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a special. How so you call a, it? a treat. A special <laughs> treat for the fish. Yeah. Protein treat. <laughs> here? No, no. Oh, here. here. So we can show them. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There's one here that escaped. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go. <laughs> yeah. So okay. let's head back to the place where we have our kale because we're going to get some yeah. for this midday. That's what we do here at the Echo Backyard Farm. We first supply to our family. Yes. Uh, that, that's the whole uh, essence of uh, having an Echo Farm. Yes. So you will have, and then we cut. You see, you cut from the down part. Yeah, you do not uproot it. No, you, you just see? cut from the down part. Yes, or the lower part. Do yes. not cut that. Cut the top because it will stop growing. <laughs> yeah. So that's the good thing about kale. Here we have dino kale. Yes, and they, that has another name. Oh, you see that has yeah. been eaten. But okay. The reason why it's called dino kale is because the the leaves look like scales of dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, does it really? Need 10? 10, Ten leaves. Ten leaves. I don't know why. I haven't seen. Nobody has seen uh, <laughs> dinosaurs <laughs> skin yet. But I. Anyway, that's how it's called. Yeah. If you have a little imagination. Yeah. You could just say uh, snake skin or alligator skin. But anyway, so that's how you. Harvest your kale. Do not cut the top. Just cut the leaves yeah. from the lower part so it will continue growing. Yeah. So you will have I more. Think I think have enough. And from time to time, check your crops, especially cabbage crops for army worms because yeah. they love to eat the leaves. Oh, yeah. But again, don't panic. It's organic. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Hello, do you know what are those uh, animals are or insects are? They are fruit flies. Mm -hmm. They are very, they are very, uh, they are very attracted to the, to the plants like uh, ampalaya, eggplant. Yeah, anything that bears fruit. Yeah. yeah. But especially those two, the ampalaya, the ampalaya, and then the eggplant. Yeah, These yeah. are the ones that really attack. Mm -hmm. They have at the end of their tail there is like a a spike. Yeah. And they, yeah. they, they how do you call that? They touch the fruit and then they grind themselves in. Yeah, they, they inject the fruit they with uh, with uh with eggs. eggs. And those eggs hatch 
and then they eat away the fruit from the inside. Mm -hmm. yes. And come along here. Let's see, we will show you our yes. eggplant. They're yes. very beautiful. Yes, we will follow the leader. Follow the leader. You take a look that time. I will go inside here. Yeah. Look at this one, how, how prolific they are. Yeah. Wow. We only beautiful. have uh, three are, plants here, but it has a lot of fruits on it. Look at this one here. They have double. Look at that. Yeah. Look at yeah, that I, think, I think yes. IBYs will be very happy with both. Yes. Yeah, our number one oh. client. And they are, <laughs> still, they are still very soft. Yeah. They are mm. soft, you see, and st mm. that means they are still very young. Look at this yeah. year. So mm -hmm. a few very days beautiful. from now, we're going to harvest them. And we're going to deliver it to our number one client. Also here, also yeah, here. There's the one there. Oh. And we also have here uh, our bell pepper. peppers. Pepper. Yeah. And then, there, are, there are fruits that are coming. Look at this one. One, two. Yeah. Over there. Three. Yeah. So cool. it is very yeah, important yeah. to have sticky paper like the one that we shown you yeah. when you're planting uh, fruit, fruit crops. Yes. Because fruit flies are really pests <laughs> when yes. it comes to fruit bearing crops. Before They're that happens, you need to catch them. Yeah, they are really prolific. Yeah. Yes. So what, what that paper does is, that paper is... Uh, yeah, it has sex pheromone. It contains yeah. pheromone. Oh, yes. And uh, it's uh, mixed with something very sticky, so they are very attracted to the sex pheromone. Yeah, the males yeah. are actually, attracted. Yeah. yeah, actually the males are attracted, but you see when there are no more males, yeah. the females cannot lay eggs anymore. Yes, yeah. that's correct. See? So the cycle of life is broken. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so because nice. of the sticky thing, they, they stick to it. Yeah, so yeah. fruit flies, you need to get rid of, rid of them. All right. We are really cruel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we are not going to wipe them out of uh, no, the, from the uh, face of the control. earth. No. Just yeah. Control them. Just control them. Yeah, because there, there's a lot here. But we told them first not to bite or to to prick our fruits, but they didn't listen. Yeah. So. so. So, Bobby, here we have an orange from the tree outside. Let's see if. Uh, Bobby's going to eat one. Bobby, ah, oh. mm. 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 <coughs> oh. <laughs> you eat that. <laughs> nice vitamins. Mm. He's eating it. Oh, really? No, he spat it out. Aye. Abby. Mm. What was that? <laughs> so if you have dogs and they have to go on a medication, and they have to, you have to give them like pills. <coughs> Wolfie, I will show you how. <laughs> Wolfie, ah, Bobby. So you get the pill, shove it down. <laughs> so it's gone, eh? <laughs> so that, that's the trick. <laughs> Good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love so what have you done? Well, I, I have to unlock or un. You see, the the drainage from the yeah. sink is stuck up. Is this? Yeah. So I have to clean it. But we have a lot of bees here. Yeah. Well. They are our pollinators. Yeah. So I don't want to. Yeah. To so we disturb them a bit, but yeah, but that's they, the problem with other farms. They don't have pollinators. Yeah. But because we've been doing everything yeah. naturally, they just came here. They just came over. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't. Did, <laughs> yeah. They didn't sting me yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have a shirt on. Let's see if they're going to sting me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Let's see. I You will hear it. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do so if you're going if you're doing everything natural you, yeah. as you can see here we have pollinators we have bees you don't need to buy insects you just need to do it organically yeah. you just need to do everything naturally and they just come all right so what we have here is talilong it's a local variety of spinach growing in the wild because we don't take care of this plot here. We just let them grow. Talilong 
is uh, an, indige an indigenous uh, crop in this part of the Philippines, Silang, Cavite, yeah, uh, Tagaytay. Yeah. It's an indi indigenous it is, plant. It's a spina a spinach. Yeah, a kind of uh, a variety of spinach that grows here in this particular area. And it's indigenous. It thrives everywhere. Even though it has uh, limited nutrients, it still grows. They still thrive. They, don't, they, they, they just continue. So take a look at this one again and let us compare them or let us compare these plants here to the ones that we really take care of. These are the talilongs or the local spinach that we take care of. See the very big difference no, when the you take are, care. Yeah. The leaves are much bigger. Yeah, they're really vibrant in color. Mm -hmm. And they're so, big. Yeah. The leaves are big. Yes. You see here, it's really lush. <laughs> <laughs> it's really big. Mm. That's because uh, they're complete with uh, oh, the, the nutrients, nutrients that, that, they need, that they need to grow. Yes. So if you want to know, oh, there's a, a red fly. Oops. Yeah, it flew away. Yeah. But anyway, if you want to know more, you can always purchase our books. It will teach you from getting started to anything under the sun. So we will end this episode with this and see you guys the next time. Anything under the sun in terms of vegetables. Yeah, of course. All right.